Hey, it's espresso lovers. Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Today we're going to talk about the colors of espresso. Not only, you know, how you can show some style with color, um, it's really coming out big in espresso, um, but also some, well, later in the video, we're going to take a look at some products that have some color associations that are going to help you make better espresso. Um, right here, I'm drinking, I mean, this one doesn't have a lot of color, but it does have the Whole Latte Love logo on it. This is a Camelback mug. This is double insulated dishwasher safe. I love this. Um, comes in all kinds of different colors. We have the multi-bev and a couple other tumblers over here. Again, all dishwasher safe. This thing is really cool. Um, comes in many, many different colors. What it is, is it's, it's like a to-go cup. Again, this is double insulated, uh, stainless steel, all dishwasher safe, and a thermos. So in here, um, you can put your hot liquid, pour into here. What's really kind of neat is this, is this like little to-go lid that I'm gonna take out of the top here. So it's got a little place where you can store it here. And then with this, so you can pour your stuff in there, and then you've got your to-go lid, you know, so it looks like you went to the cafe. Really like that stuff. Next up, some not neutral stuff. So I've got their espresso cup here, and you can see you could coordinate. Now lots of different colors on this. I've got the red here, yellow, green, pink. Uh, but you can coordinate, uh, you know, all your cups together. So you could have, they're not neutral. I really love the design of these. Very contemporary, like that a lot. But you could coordinate everything. So you have espresso cups that are not neutral, your coffee cups that are not neutral, that kind of thing. Then some more not neutral over here. These are their Cortado glasses. Um, you can use them from far more than just Cortados. You know, if you sip bourbon or whiskey, they do great in here. What we really like about this, all these are made in the USA. Um, really, really thick glass. So if you put these on your machine and get them warm, they're gonna retain the heat well. If you chill them, they're gonna retain the cool well. Um, so great for hot or cold beverages made in the USA. Oh, let me talk about the shirt I'm on, because we have these two, so if you wanna show a little style, I've got a Bedzera uh, manual lever on here. Now, Bedzera started around, what, 1901, one of the first espresso machine companies. Um, I happened to be in Milan a couple of years ago where they're located, and if you can see right up here, it's got the little snake logo uh, with, the, with kind of eating the man here. When I was in Milan, I went to the castle there in Milan and actually found that on the walls of the castle. It's a symbol of Milan, sort of. And if you want to go even further, we have another style of that. Um, it's a little bigger here, um, but really, really cool. All right, let's talk some grinders. Now, Eureka has come out with so many colors and options in their grinders, you can really show your style. I happen to have some of their Mignon Espresso Focus grinders here. These are Magnificos right here, and you can see I've got just three colors here, but they have colors that go up to rose gold, uh, what they call Dubai gold, uh, very, very luxurious look, but you can go blue, black, all sorts of different colors in these. I really like these a lot. The Magnificos here are 55 millimeters grinders, but they have the Silencios and a couple other models that have 50 millimeter burrs, but they come in a lot of colors too. Another 55 millimeter grinder they have is the design here. And you can see this, the design is a little shorter. It's basically the same grinder, but it's a little shorter than the Magnifico. So on the design, what you get is um, some, a, a local Italian artist custom does wood finishes on these. So you can see even the hopper lid on this is a real wood finish, and that's a custom work done by an artisan in Italy where the grinders are made. Now you can go wood, but they have some other options available, like uh, like it's kind of a stone concrete look and that kind of thing. Oh, and if you're watching this, we're premiering this on Friday, November 27th. On Monday, if you look back here, I have the Helios grinder. This is their six, their new 65 millimeter burr grinder. Um, Lots of colors with this one too, and a really cool design to this one um, with the screen. I really like the screen on that. You can even change the colors in that screen. We'll take an in, get an in-depth review of that coming up uh, Monday, November 30th. Um, so put, you know, turn on your notifications if you want to be around for that very cool grinder. But let's talk about some espresso machines that come in color. And our favorite entry-level machine of all time in a past Consumer's Digest Best Buy, the Gaja Classic Pro. So I have it in the cherry red here. It comes in that, you know, standard what machines have always come in, you know, the, the stainless or the kind of chrome look, the very shiny thing. So you can still get that but you can also get it in a bunch of other colors. There's Thunder Black, Industrial Gray, there's a Midnight Blue, 
um, or of course the standard Chrome. Now what do we like about the Gaja Classic Pro? It's by far the most affordable true machine for entry level espresso. It's got a 58 millimeter regular commercial size and weight port filter, so great thermal characteristics. Um, also the manual steam wand. Now, I do have a video I'll link down in the description that compares the Gaja Classic Pro with three other premium entry level machines. The Gaja Classic Pro is the most affordable of them. Um, one nice thing about the Gaja Classic Pro is it's the fastest to be ready to steam. On a single boiler machine like this, you always have to wait for steaming temperature. Uh, we got, I'll link another video down there that my colleague AJ did that's gonna show you how you can steam in just 20 seconds after switching on the steam. Um, it's really cool. Another one, another premium entry level, if you wanna go up to a little more steam power. Now the Classic has plenty of steam power, but if you wanna go up uh, to even a little bit more, you know, if you're gonna steam large amounts of milk, uh, take a look at the Bedzera Hobby. Um, that comes in some different colors as well. There's three different versions of that. That one's got some, uh, some of the best steam power that we've ever seen in a single boiler machine. In fact, you gotta be careful. You need to take, get used to that a little bit, but if you're looking for a lot of steam power, have a look at the Bedzera Hobby. Um, you don't have to use it all if you want. You can open the valve, not quite as much, so you, until you get ready to handle that power. Now, let's take a look at some, some things that come in color that can help you make better espresso. So first up, you know, if you've been watching my videos, you know, a long time ago, I went to using the Jack Leveler. Um, this is the one I'm using all the time. It's got graphic designs, but comes in a lot of color. What we like about this, it's a precision tool. Now, there's other levelers out there, um, but this one, you can adjust the depth here just by turning this, and there's like click stops. And then there's a uh, little reference marks on the side here, so you know how deep you are. Um, it's got a very slippery coating here, so this sits right on top of your filter basket, so you're gonna be perfectly level every time. Now, you can use this alone and you don't have to tamp at all if you don't want to. Some people will still tamp and that's fine, but I've found, especially when I'm using like a precision filter basket, like some of the Barista Pro models we have, where we're gonna be grinding a little finer, that this will compress the coffee enough. And if you're using that finer grind, you always, you don't have to really, you know, tamp quite as hard. Now, if you are gonna tamp and you wanna go into a very, very precise instrument, about as good as it gets right here are these Bravo tampers. Now, these are calibrated. They also have that rim, so they're gonna sit, you're gonna get a perfectly flat tamp every time. They're gonna sit on your filter basket up here, then you're gonna press down so there's one spring, and then you go down to another one, and you can set the uh, pounds of force or kilograms of force, if you wanna look at it that way, that you're gonna to use to tamp your coffee. These come in some different designs. You got real wood uh, finish on the end here. These come uh, both for 54 millimeter filter baskets and 58s. Now the actual size is a little bit bigger because these are precision instruments so they make a really good fit. Right next to that, these are very cheap items and if you know, you do espresso, you know what these are. These are group gaskets, and I've got four of them here. Over here on the right, so these are silicone. So most stock group gaskets are gonna be a harder rubber. These are very, very soft and flexible. So what that means is you don't have to crank in as hard. So you're not, you know, like burnishing down metal and that kind of thing. So over here, I've got the orange and the yellow. These are for E61 groups. If you have a new machine, you want the orange one. That's eight millimeters in height. If you have an older machine that's been broken in a little bit, uh, you want the yellow one. It's 8.5 millimeters in height. So if you've you know, worn down the metal a little bit, you're still gonna be clocking in right to six. What's really nice with these is you don't have to clock in hard. They make a really good seal because they're softer. Then over here, we have the uh, blue and the red. Um, one of these is for, let's see, Slayers and La Marzocco's, and the other is for Nuovo Simonelli machines. So we have those available. You know, just go check out the Cafe Works silicone group gaskets, and you'll be able to find one for your machine. Last up, we want to take a look at um, some burrs. So we have some different colors happening here. You know, most are going to come with like, you know, a, a, a regular steel sort of burr. So what we have over here, this is ECM. These are 64 millimeter uh, titanium coated burrs. And what that does is it's gonna, your burr is gonna last much, much longer with that titanium coating. On these, these I think they're good up to 1200 kilograms where your normal stock burrs are gonna be about 400 kilograms of grinding. So if you put these in a grinder at home, you're probably never ever gonna have to change them. Um, these are gonna work in any 64 millimeter ECM grinder. Then up here I've got the SSP Red Speed Burrs. 
We have the 64s and the 83s. So these are made out of a tool steel and they have a different cut to the burr. I'll try and hold one up here. Um, so they have a little different cut. So these are very fast. And when you're grinding fast, I mean, you're just gonna be grinding faster, but you're also gonna be, because you're doing a little bit faster, you know, you're not grinding as long, so less heat buildup. And also just the cut of these burrs, um, it, it's a little different than, than the pattern you'll see on most. And these definitely have, most burrs don't have tops and bottoms. These do, these burrs do. So one is intended to be on top, one is intended to be on bottom. Um, the 64 is gonna work in any Chiato 64 millimeter flat burr grinder. The 83 is over here. That's gonna go in like a Chiato E37S grinder. Um, if you read the reviews, people have purchased these and put these in the grinders. They've absolutely loved them. And one last thing, let's talk about, you know, a uh, really nice super automatic espresso machine that comes in some colors. You know, we introduced the Jura Anna 8 uh, earlier this year. So there's three variations, I believe, available on that, including a, uh, an aluminum that's actually, you know, like a formed aluminum skin. Most of those machines are gonna have just plastic panels, but the design of that is really cool. And if you wanna show off your style with that, you're gonna have some different color options to choose from that, but a really, really nice machine that we like a lot. I'll put a link down in the description for a review on that one. Now, as always is, you have, if you have any questions on any of these products, use those comments and I'd be more than happy to get you a detailed answer. And you know, for right now, a lot of different little gift options for yourself or, or somebody else. Oh, and don't forget, check out the Helios uh, grinder if you're watching you know, before November 30th of 2020. Um, we'll have on Monday, uh, the 30th, we're gonna do a, a premiere review of the Helios grinder from Eureka, really nice. So until then, I'm Mark, thanks for watching, and I do hope you'll subscribe to the channel and come on back soon for more of the best on everything coffee, brought to you by Whole Latte Love.